on today's episode of Landscape Photography with the one and only Justin Wolf, you see me get prepared for bears, attacked by barbed wire, Ow! and run around hopelessly while the sunset decides to pop off. So if I were you, I would grab your popcorn, grab a drink, sit back, enjoy this video, and let's get into it. What is going on guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is justin wolf and today we are with the lovely miss hannah we're up in uh marble falls texas at the uh i guess it's the blue bonnet house it's just kind of this old abandoned structure out here right off of 281 there is a lot of blue bonnets here guys um so today is kind of overcast it was it actually started out very sunny when we left uh, new Braunfels, right yes it was it was beautiful but uh I don't know. Hopefully, we get some cool color in the sky towards sunset. We are here a bit early. We're here at four o'clock sunsets in about three and a half hours from now. So, we're just going to composition hunt and then probably go grab dinner. But uh, let's go ahead and hop out of the car here, see if we can find the, the shot that's a little bit different than everyone else. And uh, yeah. So, I'm currently stuck with the built in microphone on my phone here. Um, so, the audio from this clip was absolutely horrible but basically i just talk about how i'm setting up my tripod for a composition on the other side of the fence yeah i could have shot through it but i wanted to get down low and shoot right over the tops of the flowers rather than being above this was just personal choice but i do like the look i get um, just being lower to the ground i do take a couple shots later on in this video from above but for this one we went low well, I did get into a little bit of a fist fight with the barbed wire, which is to be expected because, you know, they always say their grass is greener on the other side of the fence. It really is. I mean, let's be honest, the best shot is always going to be behind the fence. So I kind of, well, I fitted the tripod around. Oh, and that's the shot we're working with right now. Now, the thing that's going to be difficult with this is just getting the focus because the flowers are so close to the camera lens all the way throughout the uh, the photo. So I'm gonna have to take probably five or six di uh, different shots here. I'm gonna focus really close, a little bit further back, a little bit further back, and all the way throughout the scene. So I'm gonna focus on the flower closest to me, um, and then I'm gonna focus on the house, which is you know technically at infinity. Um, and then hopefully, you know, when I get this back into Photoshop, I can blend it all together and then have a seamless photo, perfect pin sharpness from front to back. So if you guys take a note here, um, I have the house perfectly in focus. This is what I was talking about earlier. The house is pin sharp, but when we zoom down here to the foreground, we're going to notice just how out of focus that is, right? And then vice versa, as I go all the way back to the beginning of my shots, the foreground is perfectly sharp. But as we zoom out, zoom back out to the, uh, the front of the house, I mean, that's just, it's nice and out of focus, but we want it to be sharp throughout the whole thing, right? So what I did here is I took a bunch of shots at different focus intervals. So we have one for the very foremost foreground, kind of moving back a little bit, moving back even further, even further, even further. And this last one's on the house. So we have a perfect sharpness from back to front. And what I'll do is I'll take this into Photoshop, blend it all together for the perfect shot. All right, so I'm out here. We got the one to four hundred on. How are you doing? I think she's just a, just a little bit cold. But uh, here's the shot we're going for. Really just simplistic, right? We're shooting just right into the middle of the mass of uh, blue bonnets here. So I'm at 300 millimeters right on the dot. Um, 
there's really not a lot to the shot to be honest with you again i will have to focus back i don't know if you can tell right here in the foreground we're definitely out of focus as we get further on back uh again we're out of focus so we kind of have like this is in focus but the rest of it's out so i'm gonna focus here 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 and there right so like, probably five shots from the front of the image to the back of the image again i'll merge them all together in photoshop so i want that pin sharp focus so if i print this out and it's on like a 30 by 40 you know everything's everything's perfect it'll be interesting to see the difference right now where we kind of just have dull overhead lighting um then hopefully this evening when we come back fingers crossed lord willing that the sunlight kind of pops through breaks through that you know the horizon over there and that clash is really just kind of mm. let's go ahead and knock this shot out and uh we'll get her to lunch Well, we decided on <clears throat> all right <laughs> all right well we decided on river city grill something like that riverview grill <laughs> i think riverview grill because <laughs> it's right on the river that would make sense river city river city you're so smart <laughs> There's a boat behind you. There's a boat. What do you think is going on with the uh, the sky? You think it's gonna pop off? Yes. I don't know if it's gonna pop off, but I think it might. It might be pretty. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, we are back on the field, and as you can tell behind me, we're getting just a smidge of light. Um, I ended up refilling my SD card, so we got two brand new 64 gigabytes in here. We're looking at 1,100 photos, which I don't think I'll be taking that many photos right here, but hey, you know, you never know. Blue bonds, man. They only happen a couple times a year here in Texas. So what are you laughing at back there? <laughs> so I'm back in the first spot from earlier. The pink flowers were there. I'm going to go for a landscape composition. Um, I do really like on the back of my camera here. I do really like the light or the vertical I took. But it's landscape photography, so we're gonna we're gonna shoot landscape. Let's get through the the barbed wire here real quick. Oh. I think it's gonna. Ow. Oh. Ow. So before I got attacked by the barbed wire, I realized I forgot my tripod plate on my one to four hundred. So we. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Ooh. You really gotta watch your arm on that barbed wire. It doesn't feel right when you when you give it a smooch. All right, let's go ahead and get this set up. So as you guys can see, I the camera somehow ended up vertical. Um, I just think it fits this uh, this landscape here personally the best, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going for kind of like a rule of thirds, kind of put it over there in the corner um, and then sunset is happening on this side of the screen. So right now what we're waiting for is just the sunlight to kind of just boop right between that gap and, you know, go ahead and light up the sky over here. That's pretty much what we're uh, got our fingers crossed for right now. So like I said earlier, we're doing the focus stacking. Settings for the shot are pretty straightforward. 1 50th of a second, F8, ISO 100. And uh, it's just a waiting game. We've got the composition pretty much set up. I might tweak it a little bit. Um, might put a different flower in the foreground, but that is, that's pretty much what we're looking at right now. So just the waiting game. I'm gonna take a shot right now. I, I do like the sky. We got kind of like a lavender haze. Lavender haze. In the sky and uh it kind of matches the the lavender blue bonnet so yeah let's go ahead and see how the shot turns out
So the way you know it's a it's, it's a good spot is when there's other photographers here, and they're all gone. So I don't know I don't know why they all left, but I think something's about to pop off. So my my lovely camera woman and I are gonna walk along the the path that is very narrow to get the good shot. Because I always say the narrow path. Yeah, something like that. Let's go this way. Don't step on one. I'm, I'm doing like, my see best. that person right there? I know I didn't do that. I know you didn't do that. Well, they stepped on it. That's not right. Oh, I do love this composition right here. I'm not gonna lie. But the problem is, I mean, look at how worn down the path is right here. That just means that like every person who's been here has stood right here, pointed their camera this direction and taken the picture. Wait, I, you know what? I can't say that's a bad thing. The composition is very sturdy, but do I dare do it, right? Do I dare do the same thing? I think I'm going to. Just right over here. Slightly different from where everyone else is. So I really did like this composition here. Um, I did end up coming back here in about 20 minutes from now. You'll see this later on in the video. I wanted to grab one more telephoto shot just right down the road, which you'll see right now. But this spot worked out amazing. We came over here to the side of the, of the barn. And uh, we started on, I guess, the south side. We're over here kind of on the east side looking west now. Um, I got the 1 to 400 out. I'm shooting exactly at 100 millimeter. My 24 to 70 was just too short. I, I needed a little bit more than 70. 100's a bit tight, but it's it's making the shot work right now. Um, so just a couple minutes ago, and I always hate, always hate trying to film right when the good light is. So we got some really, 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 really crazy sun rays coming down. Um, I got a wide angle shot at the scene and I got a couple telephotos so we'll just have to see, I, I, like I'm looking back at photos right now, most of the light's gonna, it's kind of gone until the sun just pops through the clouds and comes back, which I think at that point, it's gonna start illuminating on the sky. And hopefully it's kind of burst pink, which I believe is happening right now. Um, actually. Oh baby, all right. Yeah, that's it right there. And we're gonna stop down to about F18. Yep. And take a picture like that. Woo! So I stopped down from uh, F8, which I was shooting on, to about F. F22 is really crazy, but about F16, F18. And we're just getting those star flare right there, which looks amazing. So I'm gonna make sure to take a bracketed picture here. Got the focus set there. Oh baby, yeah, this is this is the light we all hunt. Like this we gotta I gotta move quick I'm shooting telephoto but I need to be on my 24 to 70 so Ooh. see how fast I can swap mounts so a pro photography tip for all you guys out there trying to learn the hobby uh, make sure you have an extra mounting plate for your uh, 1 to 400 as well as your camera you don't want to be switching it in the middle of a bomb ass sunset like I just experienced it's not a great feeling, I'll tell you that. The rush and the uh, the amount of time I spent stressing over this in this like 30 second clip, oh my goodness guys, but whew, look at that light, incredible. Remember how I said I was gonna come back to this spot earlier? 
Well, shocker, here we are. This time, the sun is a lot more intense. And I mean, oh my goodness, for a, for a Texas sunset, you don't really see this that often. Um, unfortunately, I spend the next like eight minutes in this clip just shooting, shooting, shooting without really talking to the camera. So, yep, voice over, here we are. Basically, what you all see me doing is I'm trying to recompose the composition I had set up earlier. Um, but I am definitely 120% stressing out right now just because of the lighting like it, it comes and goes so fast anyways you'll notice i am raising the top of my tripod here i did this because i didn't want to spend the extra time doing all three legs i just wanted to get a little bit above the blue bonnets get a nicer perspective um and i ended up taking one of my favorite shots of the evening right here i mean it just is incredible the light the conditions absolute 10 out of 10 here shout out to god for this incredible show of color it's going to pretty much summarize the light for today um I, as i stressed before on this channel uh, when the light happens i prioritize shooting the photo than filming so I, i'll have to probably do some commentary over this but as you guys are watching here that light just went boom and it was there for like 10 minutes and then gone um <clears throat> and as you saw before the entire day was just overcast gray skies um and it really just broke up in the last couple minutes here so praise God, I, I was praying for it just a little bit. <laughs> I said, hey, you know what? Just do your do your thing, slap a little bit of color out there, and he, he pulled through, so that's awesome. Um, you know, came an hour and a half out here, guys. I'm getting the chills here. This is beautiful. I mean, you really don't see light like that, especially in Texas, a sunset to just pop off like that. Uh, I know for, for reals, I got some really, really solid pictures here. I just kept shooting through the light. Um, I did, whoa, that one is gorgeous. Yeah, so, okay, y'all are getting spoiled tonight. Alrighty guys, so we're kind of hitting a nice little blue hour here. It, it does complement um, the lavender fields we're currently kind of just sitting in here. This spot's really great for what we just had, the sunset and direct light like that. Uh, maybe if you're doing a black and white, you might be shooting now. I don't know, most of it's over, so I'm just kind of just getting a little long exposure in here. Doing my best to at least, but I think we're gonna keep going, leaving the spot. But yeah, just crazy that in 10 minutes we went from gray skies, overcast, to that sun just ate through it. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So let me tell you a little secret here. I feel bad for this guy who just who was uh, taking pictures behind me. He drove all the way over here and he missed sunset um, by like five minutes. He got here right when there was a little bit pink going on in the sky, but he missed he missed the part where I was rushing around with the other guy. Um, that was that was pretty much it. So I think one of the takeaways from landscape photography is it's you know you can get lucky. That might be 10% of the time, but if you really want that shot, you got to be willing to get out there and get it. We did get lucky today, but I was out here from three in the afternoon. So you know what? Sometimes it just it's luck. Sometimes it's work. Sometimes it's a mix of the two. Today was a mix of the two, baby. Well, Hannah, what are you going to say? It was beautiful. It was beautiful. So you saw the amazing cameraman, sh camera womanship done by this lovely lady here. And, uh, whew, 
I mean, I, I'm doing my best to kind of just mentally summarize that right now. But that was a gorgeous sunset. And I mean, for my Texans, that's probably once, you know, that's probably one out of ten times it does that a year. So, yep. <laughs> that was crazy. So I'm glad I was able to make it here and photograph it. Um, you know, got her to go along with me. So that was, that was good. But... Well, we're about to drive an hour and a half back home at nighttime. Are you excited about that? I'm excited for the bathroom. She's excited for the bathroom. So, all right, guys, enjoy the pictures.